what's up guys it's cecily and welcome to this week in rideshare news we have a lot to discuss and so let's get right to it first and foremost if you haven't heard already the few days ago both uber and lyft have offered a compromise. Coming after the wave of all these protests, there was a caravan from Southern California to Northern California on Monday. Uh, both Uber and Lyft reached out to drivers and simply stated, if you support us in opposing AB5, we will offer a $21 minimum wage, meaning that the base pay you'll get per hour will be $21, but you can make more than that. <laughs> companies sent messages to their drivers asking for them to talk legislators out of supporting the bill AB5. Lyft has also offered other benefits and to hear drivers complaints. Uber did the same but but asked drivers to fill out a petition against AB5. And the response I'm getting is a mixed bag, but for the most part, many, many, many drivers feel like $21 is not enough. And so Curious to see how many drivers are okay with that. I'm sure we'll have more updates for you guys in the future. The bright side of this is that I see that they're interested in having a conversation and having a minimum wage in this job is a good thing. Should $21 be that amount? I don't know, but um, we definitely are moving in the right direction. Speaking of the caravan this past Monday, one thing I wanted to highlight for folks who, who did not follow the coverage is presidential Democratic candidate Pete Buttigieg actually joined the Russia drivers, pledged his allegiance to their cause, and spoke to the crowd. Buttigieg addressed the crowd in front of Uber headquarters where he stated that drivers should receive a living wage and also should have certain protections like working overtime sexual harassment and a right to form a union he also mentioned that drivers should get basic protections like minimum wage health insurance and paid sick days if you're interested in seeing more of the video click the link in the description and on a somber note we have an uber driver that was shot at in san diego Around 11 p.m. earlier this week, a driver said that he was heading on Harbor Drive, driving in front of the convention center when someone opened fire, hitting his car with either BBs or pellets. The shooting left cracks in his windshield, but the driver wasn't hurt. The driver says that he saw two to three men dressed in dark clothing firing at his car. Fortunately, in this situation, no one was hurt, but we also have to be aware when you're out there in the world, you're amongst the general population that includes a lot of crazy people and people who mean to do you harm. So please, please, please keep your eyes peeled. And last but not least, we have the what would you do in this case or scenario? Hashtag zombie apocalypse, okay? A driver in Atlanta, Yasir Hadi, had a run-in with a woman. Now... Moral of the story, hashtag never judge a book by its cover, hashtag stay in your car, and do not, do not leave your vehicle. Yasir was dropping off a passenger when a woman approached him and started to vandalize his car. Oh Check out the Baby, you gotta stop. Baby, you gotta stop. He gonna beat your ass. Stop. 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 How do you talk to crazy oh people? God. He should have listened to that lady. That's it. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. I ain't telling you. I got it. Get in your car. Don't hit the dog. Don't hit the dog. Just come on, baby. You got it. He's biting the shit out. Oh my god. He's biting the shit out of him. Okay, so apparently the guy that was recording this stopped recording to help remove her and um, apparently she bit down even harder. Uh, Yasir has a GoFundMe page because he doesn't have health insurance and um, she took a sizable chunk of meat from him. Not funny that Yasir got um, 
that was bit by a rabid woman. That's not funny at all. Um, who would even think that someone so tiny and spry would uh, even attack? I mean, obviously she's on something, but what would you do in this case? I think you guys can already tell how I feel about it. Um, first of all, with your little bony behind, I wouldn't have got out the car. I don't care how small you are. I don't. You look like you're fresh off a of crack or on it or something like that. And so we're not going to engage. And I think sometimes that's where you guys, especially my very uh, manly men, think, oh, you know what? It's nothing. It's not a big deal. Well, little people can bite at least <laughs> if they still have. Curious about your thoughts and what you would do in this situation yasir's gofundme page is in the description thank you so much for watching if you guys are not subscribed please subscribe also hit me with a thumbs up to let me know that you watched the video even if you don't comment your thumbs ups do help in letting us know engagement um and lastly if you don't know who i am and what i do my name is cecily and i have a channel called drive girl drive you can hit me up on Facebook or YouTube. Peace out. Bye. Have a good weekend.